lovely good morning to you our dear listener you are tuned in locked in and tucked in to your tiny radio radio maria and of course this is the don bosco youth vibes program with me princess chivesa cecilia Mungulube. but of course i'm never alone in the studios i am joined by two beautiful ladies elizabeth and victoria so uh dear listener in case this is the first time that you're tuning into this show it is called don bosco vibes where we get to tackle different things and different issues that are affecting the young people. We would just like to honor the late Republican president, the fourth Republican president of Zambia, uh, His Excellency uh, Dr. Pia Bozani Panda. But before we even go right into the discussion, um, Victor, I would like you to say something about the late president. How are you going to remember him personally? He brought peace. He really stood out for the country and we have so much to, to learn from him. And Elizabeth? He's a, a hero, so to say. Um, he's one person that uh, I would say I've learned my acceptance, self-acceptance from because, you know, there was a time that he just said, okay, I need to accept this because this is a situation that is happening. So he was a great man. Um, he was a man of peace, like Victoire said, and he was that man that had love for his country. Very interesting there and quite impressive. Uh, we have heard from our fellow young people. But of course today we are talking about something that is very, very important, crucial, and uh, most of the young people are quite going through it, unemployment. You know, when we just bring out this topic, some people would think you're mocking them. And some would think that, you know, you just want to boast and show off just because you have that job, you know. And others are not employed. But it affects somebody mentally, physically, and also how they take society. Also, society has got different sentiments. Uh, it doesn't mean that um, being unemployed, you, you're not suitable for something. You have qualifications, but it's just um, time that you... You don't you, you don't happen to, to get a job and uh, for most people they, they just feel like you know they bring themselves down to say why, why am I un unemployed because probably maybe my qualifications are not all that good or maybe uh, you know maybe my height is not of the position that uh, I would be given in a certain company and whatnot and you know unemployment is something that has um, brought our economy down. Yeah, I think that's uh, it's it's a uh, part of uh, the healthy of the economy of Zambia because you see a lot of youths are unemployed and then our economy is not also okay because a lot of people are unemployed. I would like to hear from you, um, Victoria, when it comes to unemployment and you know, I'm sure you have some friends on the working, right? And there are different ways and means that you know you would treat them or talk to them or even maybe advise them just to make them you know feel comfortable about the, the things that they are going to but what do you think are the reasons for unemployment? The reasons for unemployment one could be maybe your education level. Let's say maybe I, I want to be employed as a doctor. I've never done medicine before so how are they going to employ me? So level of uh, education also can cause unemployment. The other thing is um, we young people who want uh, white collar jobs, we can't do, there is no way that maybe I just completed school or just completed university or college. That is another way that somebody would have unemployment. So if we can be able to say, okay, if I can start from, from what I have, from within, not from without, from what I have, maybe I look at my talent, what am I able to do? From there, I can be able to create employment for myself and be able to create employment for other people. So it has to start from uh, within. Let's start from tertiary level. Let's start from those that are educated. So there are people in our country who are educated and who have the right qualifications, but unfortunately, they don't have that job. And they have taught themselves to say, you know what? I suffered about five years at uni, so you don't expect me to understand in that sun and you know just sell freedoms and whatnot. You know, those are some of the reasons that would make other people to shun away as you had mentioned earlier to say, you know, you, you are at uni and then you know you're not finding that job and then someone chooses you to say, hey, let's go you see what child go, bruh. Be like, excuse me. 
I'm a degree holder, yeah. Exactly, you'd be like, you know, I'm a degree holder. I have this paper, I can get a job anywhere. But you know, it starts to affect somebody mentally. And I would like to hear it from you, Elizabeth. How do you think unemployment affects a person mentally? Uh, unemployment is something that is um, affecting we, especially youths, um, mentally because we tend to be depressed. Yes, the first thing that comes is a depression through unemployment because you find that I have everything I've got all the qualifications and you know nowadays it it is who you know and how much money you have for you to get a job so you know I, I don't have anyone that I know and I'm coming from a, from a background where uh, my school has been probably a problem for me just to, to complete my education it was a problem and then I have to know somebody or I have to have some money for me to, to get employed, you know. And then I go out there with my application letters, I'm dropping letters at right note. Instead of them telling me, can we have an interview now? You know, just drop your letter, we will call you. And then they've never called. And how am I going to react as a youth, as a person who's got a brighter future ahead? Most of the times, I'll be upset, I'll be moody because I, I don't work. And most the youths that are working right now, it's not that they are doing something that um, they, they, yeah, they wanted to do. Because, for instance, like in my case, I did a good business, but I'm not in my field. So, to those people that are unemployed, they're depressed, to which their mental health is uh, disturbed. Uh, from that depression now, they feel like, okay, I'm not, I'm not worth it on this end, you know. They even start having those uh, suicidal thoughts. So that's something that is affecting our mental health, especially as, as youths. And then we tend to, to even start um, doing some, some things that are not even necessary, you know. You involve yourself in drinking alcohol, you start smoking, substance abuse. To which now, even if you, are, you, have, you had something, you know, you will let yourself down, you'll be a turn down, and then in the end, you hear that ah, Elizabeth and Aspire Kaila said, Benji, do at what not. I want you to give a word of advice or encouragement to a young person out there who is not employed. Being good, being kind, you know. If you are good, people will also be good to you. Again, don't look down on people, you don't know which people are going to help you. They might actually help you to climb that ladder. So be good, be humble, and uh, also the other thing is, um, as we keep searching as well, we need to also from people. We ask people. People should be people that will be able to direct us to say, "Nina Velakovaso, you can be able to do this and that." Mm -hmm. So write down. Uh, don't get tired. Continue searching, and uh, be good. I think kindness really helps people. This one goes to you too, our, our government. For unemployment to reduce, they have to look on the frictional and the cyclical employment type. And now speaking in economics now, they have to be remedied for them to, to create more opportunities of the employers to hire more employees and have um, a space of growth in their um, uh, uh, various companies and to to my fellow youths out there don't stop searching like Victor said have connections not necessarily that you have to know about whatnot. even the people that you're with in the community will be there to help you humble yourself learn to be humble respect elders and give a listening ear to some people. You know, there are people who are just high. You can't even get advice from someone. Even if they're able to give you advice or maybe tell you to say, there's a job somewhere, they can't tell you because of how you behave. So my dear youths out there, let's learn how to behave, to have respect and to be calm. Be patient because sometimes it's the patience that we don't have that makes us not to acquire what we really need in life so we also need to be patient enough yes i hope you have enjoyed yourself my dear listener and our viewers on youtube this has been don bosco vibes 
and of course until next week same time same place my name is Chivesa Cecilia Mungulwe and until next time stay blessed.